is the divorce between Kim Zalshik and Croy Bierman the most messy in Real Housewives history? Kim Zalshik and Croy Bierman, former Real Housewives of Atlanta stars, briefly reconciled before resuming their contentious divorce procedures. The messiness of the situation is only increasing. She reportedly lost access to the residence recently, according to three comments. Or is that simply recency bias? Is this the worst divorce Real Housewives viewers have ever witnessed? Let's review the franchise's countless, numerous explosive splits from the past. We don't blame anyone for being unable to keep up because so many new information and allegations regarding Kim and Croy are being revealed every day. Additionally, the separated partners haven't appeared on TV in a while. People can't exactly binge a season for the context, unlike some previous Real Housewives splits. The charges that are being exchanged range from attempted kidnapping to abusive parenting. Kim pondered whether Croy's time in the NFL had damaged his brain. Kim's automobile apparently was monitored by Croy, even after their purported reconciliation. The two appeared to be at odds all the time. The Beerman's severe financial difficulties may be the main cause of all the tension. Too many lawsuits have been filed, including one against Brielle Beerman, to mention them all. Kim also allegedly sold Brielle's fancy bags out of desperation to pay for her claimed gambling addiction. The sad and worrying fact that Kim and Croy's small children are present while all of this is happening is another. It serves as a reminder of how young Therese Giudice's girls were at the time of her divorce, another contender for the most acrimonious in housewives' history. Kim and Croy don't yet share the same prison term at least, and no one has been deported like Joe Giudice. Kim and Croy's breakup came during a brief period of another nasty Real Housewives divorce taking center stage. Lisa Hochstein, a Real Housewives of Miami star, divorced her husband, who is the typical cheater in reality television. After all the trouble she and her ex-husband Lenny Hochstein caused, Lisa had every right to be snarky in her congrats when he proposed to his girlfriend, particularly considering how much Lenny is still testing her. The number of cast members whose marriages failed on Kim's former show, RHOA, is legendary. Fans have questioned whether the peach-holding women are specifically cursed over the years. For instance, some previous co-stars have also been in the news in the recent days. Recently, Eva Marcel's divorce was finalized. However, it appears to have been a very peaceful separation. At the season 15 reunion, the more difficult divorce proceedings between Drew Sidora and Ralph Pittman are expected to be resolved. For our money, though, only two Atlanta divorces can compare to the difficult journey taken by the Beermans. The first is the longest divorce in history, according to Kenya Moore. The second merits a spot on this list all to itself. Even if Kim and Croy's decision to call off their divorce might appear excessive, at least their decision was not overturned by a judge. In fact, Fedra Parks experienced that. Apollo Nita, her estranged husband, asserted he never executed divorce papers while he was incarcerated. Even though their divorce is now legally official, Apollo's legal issues still exist. Kim doesn't have many friends in the Bravo universe as a result of her deeds. After all the lies she spread about Candy Burris, a RHOA fan favorite who famously collaborated on the creation of Kim's most well-known song, Tardy for the Party, Fedra doesn't either. However, Married to Medicine will see Fedra return to Bravo. Although Kim isn't exactly a Housewives fan favorite, it remains to be seen whether her slobbery actions get her a new gig on television. She definitely needed the work given her financial troubles. The financial drama actually makes us think of a divorce in a different Real Housewives city. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills also features plenty of messy divorces, so RHOA isn't the only television show with the dreaded divorce curse. Despite Kim and Croy's numerous lawsuits, they still can't compare to the ongoing controversies involving Erica Jane and Tom Girardi. When Camille Grammer learned Kelsey Grammer was cheating on her in season 1, one of the earliest Real Housewives divorce sagas began. He allegedly urged her to participate in the show to divert attention. On the same day as his mother's death, she supposedly filed for divorce. Despite being remarried, they continue to criticize one another years later. Taylor Armstrong experienced the most difficult Real Housewives divorce of all while watching RHOBH. Taylor is currently a cast member of Real Housewives of Orange County, where Shannon Beter's never-ending divorce drama is still being played out. Since there are so many messy divorces for a variety of reasons, it may not be possible to single out one as the messiest of all time.